Now that we've identified the specific month that each sales value belongs to, we want to aggregate all the sales from January 19 together, and the same for all the following months. To aggregate values across rows, we need to use the group by function in the transform tab. Select the transaction date column. Press group by. So we're grouping by the transaction date. That's good, because we want all the sales from January 19 to be together. Now we have to define what new columns we want to appear in our data set, and based on what data they are going to be created. So our new column name is simply going to be the same as our old column name. It's going to be called Total Sales. And what it's going to do is sum the values in the current Total Sales column. So quite simply, we're grouping our current data by transaction date, and we're going to create a new summary called total sales based on the sum of total sales across that given month. Perfect. So now we have a consolidated set of information showing total sales by month. Grouping and consolidating data in this way can be a useful way to reduce the amount of data that you're pulling into your models. Think about what data is really necessary in your model. The less data you have, the more speedy the experience will be for your user. What you've just learned is a tiny part of what Power Query is capable of. From merging similar files to automatically filtering and pivoting data, the possibilities are endless. Check out our Power Query Fundamentals course where we'll cover all the most valuable techniques and best practice to get you started.